Hi, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. Welcome back to my shop. Thank you for watching. This is part four. And you can see that this is the upper for the, or the cap. And I've already uh, re or drilled, recessed the, the top part. And I put a gear in there on the top. And then um, that's, of course, the channel where I'm going to lay the gears, the threads for the cap. For the bottom, from the last video, I did this off camera. I channeled that out, and I also put a gear in the bottom. Okay, at the drill press, I, you can see my damping block. This is a three-quarter inch channel, and that fits the upper for the cap. And for the lower, being that this is a half an inch right here, uh, that one's too big, so this one's a half an inch. And I'm just going to use a, uh, a punch for that one right there. That's a 5 16 inch punch, but given the gap of the gear, that'll fit nicely. And for the, uh, the cap, that's a 13 millimeter socket, which fits in that gap nicely. So I've got a handful of gears. I don't want to make it too packed. I don't want to detract away from the from how clear it is. And a lot of these gears, you can see I cleaned one side. I don't want them super sparkly clean. Uh, from the other side, you can see is is kind of kind of dirty. That's if that angle works better versus the side that I cleaned. I just use some uh, Scotch Brite to hold it and some uh, barkeeper's friend with a toothbrush just to remove any dirt on top but I still want it to have a nice look to it so the clean side goes down I'll just give a little push and it looks like it needs a little bit more of a bend on that so I'll use the use this right here to help arch that bend and we'll see how that there and that lays on there pretty good so we'll just bend all these gears up and then we'll start applying them okay I've got all my gears and uh, nibs bent this is the lower and you can see the L there so I know what side goes with which and I've got an upper for the cap marked so that I know that all those are bent for that diameter and then now it's just the the process of gluing everything down I'm going to use medium CA and just uh, that's going to take a take a day or so so here I am at the mini lathe I've got a wood bowl here underneath underneath this to catch anything if it falls. And again, my piece is right there that I'm going to use to glue on here. As I said earlier, I'm going to be using medium CA. Normally I use a clear nail polish, but in this case, I'm, I'm just going to use this instead. And got my tweezers ready to go so I'm just gonna put pieces in random I'm gonna start on this end over here that's probably a much larger amount that I would normally use but because it's so large I think I'm going to use a nib instead and because this is the bottom of the plunger I want the nib to be facing towards the top so I'm going to spread that out just a little bit and that looks pretty good I'll just let that cure 
and then it's just a process of building it up. And let that set. Starting to make a little progress here. But it'll stop sliding once I get it upright. Okay, those are gears have been applied all at random and even put in a, a jewel right there on the end. So I need to let this set for 24 hours to let all those gas is gas off from the CA glue before I can cast this piece getting ready to start on the upper now um, or the cap um, it's just a matter of doing the exact same thing uh, I'm not gonna put a watch face on this because I don't want to detract from the section so I'm just gonna start completely at random and then fill in the gaps as I go There, I think that looks pretty good. I don't want to overload it like I said. I still want to be able to see the inside. Okay, so there's the inside. There's the outside. And like I said, when I get ready to cast, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on, on this side here and then on the inside here so that when I cast that on both sides, uh, that's not going to stick. Okay, so you can see how that is made. That's just going to balance itself inside the mold like that. And I'm going to have to make the mold a little bit longer on each side, probably about a quarter inch or so. Uh, that way it will allow uh, for the, the resin to cast inside those uh, pieces there. And anyway, flip that around and you get the basic idea. It's not too heavy on one side or the other. That's why it's a little bit long there. So there is enough weight in that Teflon to keep it balanced. So the next step to do is just make the mold to, to hold that. All right, I've got two cups of three ounces each. And I've just poured those. Now I'm mixing the catalyst for each one for each side and hopefully there's enough if not I'll have to make a little bit more but you have to mix this pretty vigorously just making sure to scrape the sides and the bottom wow looks like that's plenty You can see how that's wanting to float. So it looks like three ounces was a bit too much, or six ounces was a bit too much right there, but it's okay. I will put that in another mold. Okay, that's just been poured. And then um, you can see how the tape's holding that down. And then I'm going to put that, you can see the air bubbles already floating to the surface, but I'm going to put that inside the pressure tank next. 
Okay, so here's my pressure tank. I've got the piece inside there, and you can see with the cap on it. I've got it with the cap on it. I've got a tourniquet wrapped around it, uh, just because it's hard to, to turn or hold on to and turn. So I need that secured so I can break the cap loose. Okay, so here's the piece out of the mold. And next is just taking it apart. And it looks pretty good front to back. So the mold is a complete loss. So this piece here cast really good. We'll just let that dry out a little bit. Okay, so I had to use a couple of wrenches to take that apart. And that looks good, except I got a crack right here, but that is below or above the, um, the 5 8 diameter. So it should be okay. I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of thin CA in there to solidify that. And for the lower, I had a little bit of a, a squeeze out that went through and I can just re-tap that or re-put die on that. And other than that, Everything looks pretty good. We'll just uh, let that dry for a few days and then we'll start to turn it. 